Coming to the second problem, check whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by first polynomial. So the second polynomial must be divided by the first polynomial. So second polynomial becomes dividend and the first polynomial becomes divisor. So if we get the remainder 0 on division of second polynomial by the first polynomial, we say that the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. So the divisor which is t square minus 3 can be written here and the dividend which is 2t power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12 can be written here. So the highest degree term of the dividend is 2t power 4 and the highest degree term of the divisor is t square. On dividing them we get 2t square. So which can be written at the place of the quotient 2t square. So the divisor t square minus 3 multiplied by 2t square is equal to 2t power 4 minus 6t square. So the multiplication one can be written here which is 2t power 4 minus 6t square. Here it is minus and here it is plus. 2t square and minus 2t square can be cancelled. We will be getting 3t cube minus 2t square plus 6t square is plus 4t square. This becomes minus 9t minus 12. So the this is the new dividend and the highest degree term in the new dividend is 3t cube. When it is divided by t square we will be getting 3t. So t square minus 3 multiplied by 3t gives 3t cube minus 9t. So 3t can be written at the place of the quotient and this multiplication product can be written here 3t cube minus 9t. So on subtracting them we will be getting 3t cube and minus 3t cube can be cancelled and here we get 4t square minus 9t plus 9t will be cancelled and we will be getting minus 12. So now the new dividend is 4t square minus 12 and it has the highest degree term which is 4t square and the highest degree term of the divisor is t square. So on dividing them we get 4. So 4 can be written here. Now t square minus 3 which is the divisor multiplied by 4 which is 4 t square minus 12. So this product can be written here 4 t square minus 12. On subtracting them we will be getting 4 t square and minus 4 t square will be cancelled minus 12 and plus 12 will be cancelled so that the remainder becomes 0 and therefore the remainder is 0. Hence we can say that t square minus 3 is a factor of 2t power 4 plus 3t square minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12 because when t square minus 3 is divided by 2t power 4 plus 3t cube minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12 we will be getting the remainder 0 that is why t square minus 3 is a factor of the given polynomial 2t power 4 plus 3t square minus 2t square minus 9t minus 12. Now the second bit given to us is x square plus 3x plus 1 
and the other polynomial is 3x power 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. Since we need to divide the second polynomial by the first polynomial, first polynomial becomes divisor and the second polynomial becomes dividend. So the divisor which is x square plus 3x plus 1 can be written here and the dividend which is 3x power 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2 can be written here. The highest degree term of the dividend is 3x power 4 and the highest degree term of the divisor is x square. So on dividing them we get 3x square. So 3x square multiplied by the divisor which is x square plus 3x plus 1 we get 3x power 4 plus 9x cube plus 3x square. So 3x square can be written at the place of the quotient and this product can be written here which is 3x power 4 plus 9x cube plus 3x square. On subtracting we get 3x power 4 and minus 3x power 4 will be cancelled. 5x cube minus 9x cube is minus 4x cube and minus 7x square minus 3x square is minus 10x square. This becomes 2x plus 2. Now the new dividend is minus 4x cube minus 10x square plus 2x plus 2. It has the highest degree term as minus 4x cube and the divisor has highest term as x square. On dividing them we get minus 4x. So it can be written at the place of the quotient. Now minus 4x multiplied by the divisor which is x square plus 3x plus 1 gives minus 4x cube minus 12x square minus 4x. So this product can be written here minus 4x cube minus 12x square minus 4x. Now let us subtract this minus 4x cube and plus 4x cube will be cancelled. Minus 10x square plus 12x square gives 2x square. 2x plus 4x gives 6x and this is plus 2. So now the new dividend is 2x square plus 6x plus 2 which has highest degree term as 2x square and the highest degree term of the divisor is x square. So on dividing them we get 2. So 2 multiplied by the divisor which is x square plus 3x plus 1 gives 2x square plus 6x plus 2. So 2 can be written at the place of the quotient and this product can be written here which is 2x square plus 6x plus 2. On subtracting 2x square and minus 2x square will be cancelled, 6x and minus 6x will be cancelled, 2 and minus 2 will be cancelled. So this becomes 0. Now we can say that the remainder is 0 if the remainder is 0 when the second polynomial is divided by the first polynomial we can say that the first polynomial which is x square plus 3x plus 1 is a factor of the second polynomial which is 3x to the power of 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2. Coming to the third bit which is x cube minus 3x plus 1 and x power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. So we need to divide the second polynomial by the first polynomial. First polynomial becomes divisor and the second polynomial becomes dividend.
So we can write the divisor here which is x cube minus 3x plus 1 and the dividend here which is x power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. So the highest degree term of the dividend is x power 5 and the highest degree term of the divisor is x cube. On dividing them we get x square. So when x square is multiplied by the divisor which is x cube minus 3x plus 1 it gives x to the power of 5 minus 3x cube plus x square. So x square can be written at the place of the quotient and the product can be written here x power 5 minus 3x cube plus x square. So x power 5 and minus x power 5 can be cancelled. Minus 4x cube plus 3x cube gives minus x cube and x square and minus x square will be cancelled. This becomes 3x plus 1. So this is the new dividend which has the highest degree term as minus x cube and the highest degree term of the divisor is x cube. So on dividing them we get minus 1. So minus 1 multiplied by the divisor which is x cube minus 3x plus 1 gives minus x cube plus 3x minus 1. So let us write minus 1 at the place of the quotient and this can be written here minus x cube plus 3x and minus 1. So on subtracting we get minus x cube and plus x cube can be cancelled 3x and minus 3x can be cancelled and this becomes 2 now the degree of the 2 is less than the degree of the divisor so we need to stop the division here so this can be treated as the remainder and this can be treated as quotient since remainder is equal to 2 which is not equal to 0 we can say that the second polynomial factor is not the first polynomial that means the first polynomial x cube minus 3x plus 1 is not a factor of the second polynomial which is x to the power of 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1.